It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Talking about the Romo uh, situation because I asked uh, T.O. earlier it was Romo a better quarterback or announcer because you know when you're when you're sitting there you're like if he can see what the if he knows what's going on why didn't he know that when he was a player and you just mm-hmm. explained it perfectly yeah do I need to explain yeah it? go ahead why not <laughs> well what I said is like okay if he like I said for him to be the quarterback that he that he was yeah and so to to sit now where he sits in the seat of announcing games, you know, dissecting, you know, plays before they happen. Again, he doesn't have any pressure coming right. after him, you know, in a booth as he does on the football field. Right. So you don't have those innate abilities to escape, you know what I mean, right. in a booth like you do on the field. Right. You get what I'm saying? So most quarterbacks, what you're saying, or a lot of quarterbacks know what's going to happen, but it's different when you got a guy 260 pounds running at you. And you have two seconds to do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right, right, right. It, so he's not so elite maybe at calling the game. Like if you brought another quarterback who had played the position for just as long, he could probably predict those same plays. I think, well, well 90, I don't know. Troy Eggman don't do that. No, 99% of the players. He's been, he's been players, concussed. I don't even know if he's there no, still. Like, but, but, but he doesn't know where he is, but Troy Eggman. Yeah, yeah. Different between con- uh Troy Aikman and, and Tony Romo. Yeah. Troy Aikman has won Super Bowls. Mm. Tony, right. Tony mm. hasn't really won anything. And that's that was a knock on him is that he couldn't win the big game. Or he right. Team pass, mm-hmm. Okay. Whatever. Can we can we yeah. I have a I have a question because I have a let theory. Me clear this up. That's okay, not go. me hating on Tony. No, you're just like saying facts. Right yeah, but it's not like a hater. Hater. Right. But people that I'm saying, but people are hearing it and they're like, oh well, he's hating this, that, and the other. No, I'm not hating on it. I cried for the guy. Like, you know. In the locker room, like I said, we're, we're in the locker room, you're a brotherhood. And yeah. that's, I ride it, I, I died, you know, cried for my dude. You know right. what I mean? Because I thought the questions at that time was unfair. And yeah. then to clear, so everybody, bring everybody up to speed is we got into the playoffs. He was dating Jessica Simpson at the time. Um, we had a week before playoffs started and they went to like Cancun or Cabo or something, him and Jason Witten and everybody else. And then everybody's like, oh, well, he's not focused, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. You know, and then we came back and we lost the game. So we got in a, we got press, press conference, you know, and they tried to blame it on that was his trip was the why we lost the game. What'd you do that, that week? Nothing, that has nothing to do with me. Yeah. I, I, I had a, I think I had a high ankle sprain, so I was getting treatment. Man, around the you clock. always hurt. Yeah, bro. Okay. To be such yeah. a physical <laughs> specimen, <laughs> you sure <laughs> always that's hurt. A, that's kind of a point, T.O. You, you, you are hurt in the big right, moments. Right, but, you, but to your uh, credit, you did oh, play. But I came, I came through in the big yeah. moments, too. You know, whereas you, you asked me about the McNabb situation, mm-hmm. you know, um, when I was in the hyperbaric chamber getting treatment around the clock, little did I know, he's out the night before the game getting booged up, this and that and that. Then all mm. of a sudden we're in the game and then he gets hmm. sick. So you're, we you're, end up you're, losing. We end up losing. You're saying the getting sick was from the booze? He was hung over? 23, 24, uh, 21, we end up losing the, losing the Super Bowl. So the, the, but the, everybody was like, but I never, the thing is, I was so, I was so, I had two screws and a plate in my, in my ankle. So my focus was honestly, you weren't even supposed to play. Right. Yeah. So my focus was so yeah, was on unreal. getting ready and being prepared for the game. So I had no idea till a week later that he had thrown up in the huddle. Mm. Hank Fraley, who was our center at the time, and Freddie Mitchell, they're the ones I think kind of acknowledged or, you know, those were the first ones to mention that he had gotten sick in the huddle. I did an interview. I was in Miami, some reporter, what have you. And so he asked me about the incident. And I said, and my response was, I said, if anybody should have been out of shape, it should have been me because I hadn't played in like mm. about a month and a half. Yeah. So I never said anything about him being sick in the huddle or him throwing up in the huddle. But with my response, it came out the next week. Oh, Terrell's criticizing Donovan. He said he threw up in the huddle. He was out of shape. Mm. I never said it. You actually just said Donovan McNabb got drunk the night before the Super Bowl. I, <laughs> this is no, I said, that's what you I said. Heard. boozed up. Yeah, he was yeah. boozed up. Now, but I said, I didn't know this is what Where I was heard. the soup? I don't know I mean all these years bro like I said everybody has criticized me and said that I broke up the team he just recently come out and said oh I, I, saw prevented, I prevented them from getting you know to the Super Bowl or making a Super Bowl run that, that, that the following year when the year of the Super Bowl, two weeks prior to the Super Bowl, they were asking him, you know, about my availability, you know, for the Super Bowl. And he was basically saying that he didn't need me. They didn't need me. We got to the Super Bowl without T.O. because they played those two playoff games uh, without me. 
So then, so why would you now come out and say, oh, I prevented you from getting mm. to the Super Bowl the, sec- the next year when you just said you didn't really need me? Mm. I brought a lot of swag, a lot of energy, a lot of professionalism, a lot of big plays to Philadelphia when I came over uh, from San Francisco. And I think that kind of energizing, that kind of sh- stuck with the team and that kind of flowed through the through, through the season. If they rolled, they rolled that energy that I brought. Question to the playoffs. If you know, for for both of y'all, because both of y'all play football, the night before a big game, shouldn't players protect each other from like going out and getting drunk or getting high think, or being with women? Right. Like, yeah. but you would think, especially the how he's regarded to be a pro, consummate pro, professional. You know, he's a quarterback, captain of the team. You would think that he would be the guy to make sure that that. Those things, you yeah. Know, in in good hater, in good yeah. locker rooms, usually they do right. Good locker room. All the veterans are making sure the younger guys are in by a certain time. Where, like I said, there's no reason to go out because we're here for one goal. Uh, when you have like a younger team or like younger leaders, then they think that's what it's about. But most of the time, m- most good teams do have a good locker room. And they kind of you know kind of police themselves. What if it was nerves though? Like the night before a big game, do you got to go out and try to do something to take the edge off? You do. Uh-huh. You do the exact same thing. You should do the exact same thing you've been doing all year. Yeah. Yeah, that's what coaches, you know, they, but if you they, win, no they, one cares, right? Like, you know, Michael Jordan's out gambling until like 4 a.m. in the morning. But, playing. Not, but he was a freak of nature. All, Jordan could do Michael that. Michael Jordan and Donovan in the same, that's just, <laughs> the same basket. I know, I know. Sense. What I'm saying is winning, winning, winning cures all. Me, you can't, you can't, MJ, no, Kobe, you can't, you can't, you can't be in that conversation you neither. <laughs> You're, no. Wait, did you just put you in MJ and Kobe? That's what I'm saying. You're here. What's that? With me? There's MJ Kobe not here? Bro, come on. Not here. Here they're not here. Okay, let's okay. Let's <laughs> no, talk about. No, I've been trying to tell him the same thing. He's not on that level. Look, MJ and Kobe. Well, obviously, Kobe rest in peace. But like yeah. MJ and Kobe, they're doing different things because they transcended the sport. Right. So I didn't transcend what I did as a receiver, mm. a big receiver. I'll, I'll give you. I'll Consider give you that. I, but you're still I, not I on their level. This. I will say this about receivers. I think that receivers are the most dynamic position. Say what possibly. you say. Keep come going. Get that yeah, name yeah, in Come on. Give it can, it I yeah, can, yeah, I it, yeah, can I build? Can I butter up? Can I butter up first? No, <laughs> no don't, don't butter up. up. No, you won't no, need this butter. So I think it's. I think it's the most dynamic. Probably the most dynamic athletes in sports. I also think it's the least effective position in helping your team win. I would never pay a wide receiver. I think a word you said is useless. I think it's the most useless useless position in terms of helping your team win. Yeah, I I get what you're saying. Okay, so I just don't know an elite receiver that's won a Super Bowl in the last decade. Both of them are receivers. I know. Okay, so number hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get him. Let me get him. T. Let me get him. T. Who's there? Come first on the pod. So I would say that I'm an elite receiver. You are no doubt an elite receiver. So if Don wasn't getting 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 get sick in the Super Bowl, we would have won. If he wasn't drunk, hung, hang on, hung over. So, so to your point, to discount your point that you didn't see, you've never seen an elite receiver win a Super Bowl. No, no, in the last decade. Last I, I decade. Don't know. Okay, 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 cool. okay. Mm-hmm. okay, I'm, okay go. The last well, one I can remember is Marvin Harrison. And do you guys remember the? He's not. He wasn't. Uh, that's not. If he's not elite, that's, then that's not the top ten my ever stats to play. Were better than his. And again, so then you're making my point. I see what I see what you're saying. Let, let me let me finish too. the point though. The point is because the game is not in your control. Right. Okay. We are so you guys can be as great as you want to exactly. be. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. We but you you other. catch the ball eight times a game. That's an amazing, that's an amazing game. game. Right. Only eight possessions but, you affect the game. Right. You're not really blocking. You are blocking on every single play. So don't say that I ever mean, again. But go ahead. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, no, those, not, not blocking true. a linebacker two fifty. You're blocking a cornerback five eleven. Sometimes we are, but go ahead. Okay. So you're not truly affecting the outcome of the game as much as other position play. For example, offensive defensive line like those the only people I would pay. Mm-hmm. Offensive, defensive line, mm-hmm. quarterback, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't even think you got to be that so good. So who are you going to pay then? Offensive, defensive line. You pay the A. Hey, defensive mm-hmm. line. I'm all for okay. them. They're okay. underpaid. Let me, they're let me, defensive line. Under, they're grossly underpaid. And it's their fault. But you guys are exciting. You guys sell the tickets and the people who sell the tickets get money. Don't get me wrong. Right? The one-handed yeah. catches, OBJ. It, I don't know if OBJ is ever going to win a, a Super Bowl. Matthew, Probably go, not. Go. No, okay, so go, what, yeah. what you're saying is, right, there's 11 players on the field, right? Yeah. You take those two or three receivers Receivers, top three receivers. Yeah. If you take them out and just put in regular dudes, yeah. what do you do when it's third and seven? What do you do when it's third and 11? What do you do in the last two minutes of a game? Because if mm. those receivers are not getting open, third and, and tight then, end. No, 
So you don't you don't have one, right? You don't have because he's not as good as a receiver. Let's just say he's blocking. And you that's never score touchdowns in the Super Bowl. No, that's not. End. That's you not. Hold on. Tight, end tight ends block once. every position. Okay, so tight ends hold, 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 hold on, hold on, exactly. So they're an offensive lineman and a receiver. So how's so how so how the tight end going to be factored into this equation, which he's trying to explain to you? Let, but no, let's just say. He's not in this equation, right? He's blocking because you have to be blocked up. We need max protection because our quarterback's getting beat up, let's say, right? Okay. So you only have three receivers. We can go four receivers, okay. right? Yeah, if yeah. those guys aren't catching the ball, how are you advancing the ball down the field? I throw a screen. That doesn't work. Come on now. That, <laughs> come on. You can only... You can, not going to do anything. You, but you can't. You can only... You got two. I do. I mean, doing this yeah. podcast. Okay. Why with, receivers are with, useless, bro? It's just a useless with, position. That's not, why not, not, in, not in that moment that, that uh, Hatchet just explained. In yeah. that match that he just explained, they are the okay, most important that person. one moment, No, it's not sure. one. There's how many third Every downs in the game? There's 15 to 20 third downs in a game, right? You're going to have two two-minute situations in every game. So you're talking about out of all of those plays, you take out the receivers, you cannot advance the ball, and how many times have no, you no, seen you no. can have receivers they just don't have to be that good they but could they be a guy who's have, a bouncer in one oak but what if they don't catch it because you wow. want to know what guys who are average that wow. play receiver they don't catch the ball number one why can't they or, catch the ball we're talking about NFL receivers at the end of the day wait, they wait, can wait, catch no, the ball wait, no, no, okay, can you catch let me see let me see that let me see that ball Tom Brady no, let's talk about Tom Brady no get that ball no 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 let's talk about Tom Brady yeah 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 this is easy to catch 100% he just dropped it you threw it on my elbow so I would have thrown like Donovan McNabb bro like what are you talking about <laughs> so you're, you're saying you, like the average you. guys don't you see that? You with your you chest. That, 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 that was horrible. Not with horrible. your chest. Hey, catch with horrible. your hands. But Only your, whores catch with but, their chest. But to your point, you see why? You see? You see why? You, do you see why the New England Patriots? You see that? You see that? <laughs> but do you strength, see bro? why the New England yeah, Patriots suffered? Just for the, the, the how many the, rings they suffer no, 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 with, no, we're, dude. We're talking to stay on the course. Look at the, their stay wide receivers. Right now. Wes Welker no, no, is five two. No, no, stay on course. But he was he a be player. Working in a keeper we're talking, that's not a, that's so not a true statement. Point, that's you, a dude. Why did the, why did the Patriots suffer this year? Because they didn't have a receiver or a tight end to get open. That was his frustration. Now you know to it, your point. You make a good point. I'm just telling now, you. Now that one year when the when the the Patriots had the arguably had the cr- greatest wide receiver they broke in history. What did they end up doing at the end of the season? They lost the Super. Bowl. They lost in the Lord, Super Bowl because the Super Bowl. So these great. elite wide receivers don't help you win. They so do great. help you win when they use in the Moss. right way. Yeah. Name one. Help them. Why wouldn't they? Why didn't they win the Super Bowl? So you think it's Randy Moss' fault? They no, 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 no. I'm not saying okay. it's Randy Moss' fault. <laughs> okay. No, don't say. I'm not saying that. But to his point, you need. You're gonna need, you need some dynamic, all dynamic all receivers. And so, no. To his point, it was a very not smart conversation you're having because if you take linemen out. It's the same thing. If you take receivers out, it's the same thing. If you take the quarter, it's all the same. Listen, you need eleven listen. people. Football 100%. is the best, right? Team there sport. Are, you'll it's ever an fight. amazing you team need sport. Everybody. It's an amazing sport because ninety nine percent of people who watch it have no fucking clue what's going on. They're still entertained by it. Right. I but, am ignorant to what happens. I can't describe what a nickel defense. I can't do all this kind of stuff. I, I don't. So you shouldn't what's be having on. the conversation. All, what I can, I'm all I can go off is data. He thinks name he can cover both of y'all name right now. In a, oh, oh, I could. Oh, I could definitely. I could lock them both down. Shows thinks he can do heart surgery. And then. He played one on one with Jay Williams. He challenged Jay Williams. <laughs> oh, Jay no. Williams spotted that's, him six that's, points. That's buckets, though. That's he buckets. Can, buckets. Can, can you hoop? Can, can, can you hoop? Of course I can hoop. But you hoop it was, now? It was, it was a seven point let, game. Oh, no, you don't want to smoke. I, bro, I don't want to smoke. I want to see you. I want to see you try to cover T.O. That's my word. I'm the best athlete in this room. No, you're not. No, you're the second best athlete in this room. I can't say who's better. I just know that. Thank you for acknowledging me, man. If you got analytics, then you would know. Okay, smart. Guy, if you guys I don't know his analytics. You don't you need don't, to know my analytics. I'm a dude. Okay, you're a dude. There we go. What? <laughs> what? I know. When we say, I know we, we got to say that. So we say that. dude. In, <laughs> when we say dude in sports, that means he's a, an elite you're the guy. Elite guy. That's but, what okay. we mean by oh, dude. That means that I can definitely. There are elite receivers and there are game changers. There yeah. are playmakers. Yeah. What are you? I'm one. Of, I'm one of those two that I mentioned. I'm a playmaker and I'm a game. I'm saying, changer. what do you think is higher? Because me, elite is higher. Well, again, I think an elite receiver is a elite. game changer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 But yes. do you think that you could catch a pass if I was defending you now? Man, that's not even a don't even, don't dude, even, Why are you even answering the question? Exactly. I'm not. What? Are you what are you I'm not answering. That's, that's not even a question. And, 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 no, no, have, no, no, you ever, have you ever seen seriously. pros versus Joe's? First of Listen, all, you, of course, you're just like when that when we play, I beat everyone. First of all, this is this is equivalent 
This, <laughs> this is, I've never, I'm, I'm undefeated. I don't, I, I'm I undefeated this against before. pros. This is equivalent when we played when I was with the Niners and we Bro. played the New York Giants. I won't even touch. And they had Jason, Jason Seahorn. I'm not about to let a white boy check me. Hey, he just called hey. you. This I is love when it turns the race, man. This is a white man. I'm just, I'm Jason Seahorn's a white boy. You got a white, white man, man right here. Saying, okay? You, you kind of look like. Look at this. You look like Seahorn. Actually, here's the thing. Like not all of us look alike. Now look. Oh, let me tell you something too. Andrew Schultz is also a comedian. Yeah. Okay. I, I, okay. Hey, the, with but the first right conversation, now, take, now, now, now I know nothing's funny. Know. Now I would never know. I would never know. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I would never know. I know. I never know. <laughs> so look, at the line, here's the thing. I won't even check you at the line. You, what, what is that's check? A, that's, that's not that's even a, a word. What's that? It's not even a check. What's I'm, that mean? I play football in the streets, bro. I didn't do this bougie thing that's that you got. That's the problem. That's professional shit y'all do here. I'm out here in the hood playing football. We say check at the line. That's where I won't even do the thing where I hand. push you back and you hands, fall. Though. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look at the size of these motherfuckers. These no, it's a position. You know what they said? This yeah. is interception. 